P3-35. Alright, so we have a radius of, uh, of 47 coming off of this, so we can generate a quadrant. And then the, uh, the notch is offset uh, 15, so the 47 reference dimension just is telling us that it is a full arc because of the cuts and the other things it kind of distorts a little bit over here. All right, and then the angle going through will generate that geometry. So we're in a, another metric uh, part and from the front plane. All right, so to make it look like theirs, we would draw it from the right, right plane, but I'm going to, uh, since I picked the front plane, stay with that. Um, let's do a center point arc. A lot of times with the contours and regions, I would still stay with the, uh, the full circle. And one of the things with the center, uh, center point arc is if it doesn't go the way you want it, you just keep drawing in the circle until it gives you the desired result. All right, so I'm going to connect those with, uh, with lines to create the, uh, the enclosed region. And then we'll put the radius of 47, and that um, gives me the, um, the lower left quadrant of the, uh, the circle that I need. All right, so we're going to extrude backwards, and it is 70 millimeters, the shape. And then I have a couple of choices. Um, I really don't want to offset a plane if I don't have to. So if I were to sketch on this um, this face, then I will end up with a triangle that looks something like that. And our dimension is 20 millimeters. All right, and um, what, uh, 20, 2016? Thereabouts is when they added the blind in condition to the uh, to the open profile. Can't say that I'm still I'm I'm, I'm used to that one yet. Uh, we don't really have to have these two, but under certain conditions, the um, the open profile and the blind condition um, don't really uh, don't really cooperate. So I want to make sure to get this geometry to where I can pick it up and move it, and then continue the cut. All right, so let's go into the cut, and then we'll talk about the um, the other option. So my offset plane, or offset sketch, will be over 15 millimeters. So the offset went the wrong way. We're going to reverse it, and then I'm going to give it a through all in condition so it terminates at the edge of the part. All right, so the other option would have been to draw the radius so let's let's back up. I'm going to do the rollback. Would be to draw the uh, the arc with this point at the origin, extending this way, so that I could open up a sketch on the what would be the right plane, draw the triangle, and have it cut into 47 minus 15. We're doing math or offsetting backwards from that face, uh, offset from the surface, 15. All right. So a couple different ways to visualize that geometry but we want to take advantage of the, uh, the tools that we have. So as far as the, uh, the scale, we check the, um, the numbers, 70 and 47. It doesn't quite look in the same proportions as the sketch, but the dimensions override uh, what, we're, um, what we're looking at. So we'll go ahead and save this and get ready for the next one.